Today we are here in Phoenixville, Root Down Brewery outside of Philadelphia racing for $500. flyer in the apartment elevator and came totally out of curiosity. The diversity of people and stories that come together around drone racing is amazing. Such a bizarre kind of thing to most people that they're surprised that we'd be able to race drones through a brewery while well, there's people here nonetheless. Most people think of them as giant camera drones. These little tiny whoops can bump right into your face and it'll be perfectly fine. So people are overall super stoked about it. First of all, inside just impresses me and like the control. I could never do it. Maybe with a lot of practice, but not so much today. We have a mix of pilots today. Some of them are amateur pilots who've been doing it for a couple of months. Some have been doing it for about two or three years. It's a really inclusive place. The course is big. By the end of it, your, your battery's pretty whooped and you're up high in the throttle. Um, but very fun course, fast course, smooth course. That's what I like. So Root Down Brewery not only offers the space, but offers the ambience for you to drink, enjoy, and race. It's always a lot of fun. This is our third time doing it. It brought out a huge crowd that we don't normally have on a Monday night. My name is Melissa. I'm married to William Birdwood, aka Birdman. Um, that's his whatever his joint name. It's really fun to watch him practice and learn how to fly tiny whoops, because I think that's what they're called, right? Um, the three inch drone that he does outside with like all of the inverted who's a what's this and whatever. <laughs> Which is really just fun to watch. I've been racing drones for four years now. Being at races and competing in them is very fundamental towards running a successful event because you know what needs to be done, how much time goes into it. You know, I'd love to be able to compete as well, but you know, it makes running an event just far too difficult. I'm all for promoting this community that I've been in for so long, and I love it. I love these people. Everyone's so cool to each other. So, you know, I'd do what I can to put back into the community what it's given to me. I'm a spotter, so it's my responsibility. If a drone falls or flips, I need to go get it and then flip it around so it can fly again. This went all the way in the corner behind the barrels, and I don't fit there, so <laughs> that was a problem. <laughs> Finals, we've got Billy Grove, Creative Call Sign, Jimmy Proton. We're gonna go uh, first to three laps, and it's gonna be a pretty damn good race, I think. I got Creative Call Sign taking it. He's smooth, dude. He's gonna, he's gonna get it. They're going to be neck and neck. Honestly, it's just going to be a matter of who has the smoothest line. My strategy is smooth is fast. Who doesn't clip on anything? I'm going to try to do what I did last time and hope I don't fail this. And who can just finagle through it? I'm going to fight dirty. Tonight was a phenomenal event, huge turnout. Third place was Philly Brogue, second was Creative Call Sign, and number one, they take $500, the one and only Jimmy Proton. First podium, first place ever. It feels fantastic. I made myself a promise if I won it, I was gonna give it to my girlfriend for a present for putting up with this shit. 